Hi, it's Adrian, and I'm here today with uh, some new makeup and different makeup that I haven't tried before. So I figured that I'll go ahead and get started. Um, I did go ahead and use the Super Goop uh, Glow or Glow Oil. This one has an SPF of fifty. Yeah, 50 on here. And then I did go ahead and use the True Match, the C2.5. And I did use the Self Tanner, so I'm a lot darker right now. And I can actually use the darker shade right now. As far as bronzer, um, I'm finding that I like the Wet n Wild uh, Bikini Contest a lot. It has a lot of red in it. And um, so I think that it's actually one that I'm liking. Uh, and I dug it out of my stash because I have it in the old packaging. And then as far as what I have on the cheeks, um, today's about Timu. And I haven't gotten a lot of Timu products, but I've gotten a couple. And so this one by Any Lady is called Peach Love. And this is what I went ahead and used on the cheeks today. And I used uh, this one basically as a bronzer. So with my actual bronzer, I used that around, yeah, around the face, but I didn't actually use it in the cheek area. I used uh, this instead. And then I went ahead and used this one as natural blush. So that's what I have on there. And yeah, it's, it's there, it's staying. And then I went ahead and used the, um, this is, I don't know how to pronounce this. It looks like Huda Bahoy, H-U-D-A-B-I-O-J-I. So I really don't know how to pronounce that at all. Um, but this is the highlighter that I have on. And it's kind of scary when you look at it. It's pretty uh, white, but once you get it on the cheeks, it pretty much turns into what you can see there, which is, you know, some shine, but it, um, it gives you a wet shine kind of look. And so, yeah, both of these products, no problem. Um, as far as what I have on the lips, I went ahead and used the ColourPop Just a Tint and Just Because. And then I went ahead and used... The lip oil by NYX, the fat oil in Supermodel. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as what I have on the eyes, I have another Timmy product. This is from Miss Laura. And this is the Ultimate Shadow Palette, the green one. They have three or four different color stories, and I picked up the green one. And so um, it has 16 different shades in it. And you get a whole bunch of different green tones. Um, you also get a gray, a blue, a neon green, yellow, a couple of beiges, and a pearly white. So you have enough, and a black. So you can actually do a full look. And then um, you can do some Kelly green looks. You can do some grass green looks, some forest green looks, some neon looks. And as far as what I did today, um, I went ahead and used this in the outer corner, and then I used uh, this under the eye as an eyeliner. I used these two as um, my uh, lid colors. Uh, this one on the inner corner, this one right on the brow, and then this one um, actually right in the inner corner for a pop. And so it worked out really well. Um, this is the way that the look came out. As far as what they look like, uh, here's some swatches of what they look like. And so, yeah. Now maybe they are buildable. They don't come out of the pan with a ton of pigment, but they definitely are uh, buildable. They're pigmented. They, I didn't have any hard pan in here. And um, you get a lot of variety. The packaging is actually, it's pretty, it's decent because I've been sitting here opening and closing the packaging. And uh, yeah, it's not going to fall apart. It's pretty good as well. It is um, 
a little bit. Well, with this brand, and like I said, I haven't tried a lot from Timu, so I don't know. And I know that there are different brands that Timu carries. This one, if you look in there, yeah, I think it's picking it up. You can see that there's a B imprint on all of the different pans. And so one of the reasons that I got it was because I had the Beauty Bay, um, I have some of their palettes and they do the same thing. They put an imprint, uh, a B on there as far as um, all of their pants on all of their palettes. So I don't know if uh, Beauty Bay actually made this for the Miss Laura group or the Miss Laura group was just wanting to go ahead and um, maybe, you know, be a dupe or, you know, try to get some publicity that way. Um, but what I can tell you is that the eyeshadows work pretty well. And as far as this particular palette goes, if I'm going to be traveling, um, first of all, it's nice to have a variety of colors. And uh, second of all, you know, I, this is a $2.50 palette to maybe a $5 palette, depending on what time or if Timmy is running a sale or not. So, um, yeah, I if I'm traveling, I would like to go with something that has good packaging that's sturdy and if it does break and I lose it then I, I'm out two dollars and fifty cents to five dollars instead of you know twenty dollars plus for a palette so uh, they definitely have some good products over there um, I know I've seen some videos where some people have found some real duds and I'm sure they're there too um, just what I found has been pretty good. So uh, I'm definitely going to be trying uh, more from this brand. Um, <clears throat> again, they're all different companies that Timu, you, you know, goes ahead and, uh, well, they sell from, you know, all sorts of different companies. And then I found some other things that work really well, like this, which is a sponge and it's actually connected so that you can go ahead and have a little bit more control. And uh, let's see, what else did I get from over there? Um, actually, I think that's just about all that I've gotten from them so far. But I've been impressed because, you know, I went into it thinking, well, I'll spend a little bit of money and see if, you know, it's okay. If it's not too weird and um so far i haven't found anything that made me go no <laughs> so that's good and um as far as what i have on the eyebrows i'm trying something else this is from walmart this is the oma uh, by sharon c and so i got their brown pencil it's actually a pencil on one side and it's one of those really uh micro thin uh, pencils so you can do the strokes and get the hair strokes and then um, on the other side it's actually a brow gel and I always open it the wrong way brow gel and so you can do that on there and so um, yeah that's what I've been trying here um, didn't have any problems with that either so far I haven't done a wear test on any of this so I don't know how long it lasts um, but then again I don't do wear tests on most of the makeup that I review um, so I just wanted to let you know what I found and at this point I'll try some more <laughs> so um, I think that's a video, and uh, thank you. Have a great day, okay?